So how do we trade breakouts in the stock market like a pro, right? This is a secret technique that you know, I've been using for many, many years now. And you know, in this very video, we'll be talking about breakouts. What exactly is a breakout? How do we get in? How do we get out? So in this very video, you definitely want to watch it all the way to the end because I'll be talking about the basics of breakout trading, all right? And after that, we'll look at a live case study. Sorry, not live case study. We're looking at a live trade, right? Looking at a live trade whereby, you know, I can't like take a live trade and walk you through the entire thought process step by step or right, as each day passes what goes through my mind you know when do i want to get out when do i want to take my profit when do i place my stop loss this will be what we'll be discussing hopefully we do make some money right so do watch this video all the way to the end if you know exactly what is breakout trading in the stock market so before we look at the live trade setup right um what is a breakout exactly right so let me just share with you a breakout so breakout means that you know prices have come like push higher all right to a new level for example there's a resistance level we can't break out of it and that's where we can potentially see a bit more upside with the uptrend continuing so let me just take a look at this diagram um right here. you can see that this is what we call like a consolidation phase or a sideways movement so most of the time you know um, prices of the stock or the stock will most likely consolidate sideways you will not like go up every single day or move down every single day you will most likely consolidate more than 70 to 80 percent of the time and this is what we see here so a uh, consolidation would just mean you know um highs and lows and you know kind of like two lines that are drawn right here we have what we call a resistance line connecting all the highs so each time it touches it comes back down touches it comes back down that is where at a resistance level we are seeing a lot of selling pressure and sellers are pushing prices back down all right what about a support level so this is a support level where you know every time it nears this support it kind of rebounds from that level so it kind of touches and rebound many many times and that's where we can draw what we call a horizontal support line all right so what exactly is a breakout so very simple let's take a look at the upwards direction first so when we talk about an upside breakout or an upwards breakout we're looking at a break all right above this particular rate horizontal line so this rate horizontal line is what we call a resistance level so if we do break this resistance line is what we call an upside breakout and that's where you know the stock can kind of like end its you know consolidation phase it could be a few weeks a few months but yes you know called the potential for it to end this consolidation phase to push higher all right to the next phase so it kind of like breaks the resistance level that's where we can potentially hit to the next phase as it consolidates or maybe push higher and then consolidate again that's what we call an upside breakout of course we can also break out in terms of the downside as well so for example this um, green line is a support right here if we were to break down all right below the support has been holding for many months it could be a downside breakout or breakdown of the support level that's where we can see more weakness right so let's take a look at a live case study maybe a live chart and we look at the live trade setup and what goes through my mind step by step as we trade a breakout So there's this one stock today I'd like to share with you that is kind of like attempting a breakout, right? A breakout to the upside whereby the uptrend can potentially continue, right? So this is iFast, one of those really good uh, uptrending longer term um, stock that you can buy and hold and also to kind of like add more positions as, you, as it rises up to take some, take some profit along the way. That's perfectly fine as well. But right now you can see that um, we're seeing a kind of like attempt to break out above this level. So over the past, I would say one month plus, right? We have been like consolidating from like the eight dollars to about the eight dollars and seventy cents you can see up down up down for like about a month right not much of a move you can see sellers came back whenever it neared that 860 870 came back down rebounded from the 80 from the eight dollars and now we are kind of like attempting to break this um, 870 uh, resistance level so price is about 8.95 right now and you can see that um you no know, we had a few uh breakouts for ifast this company you can see that yes mean like consolidating each time look at this right here this was somewhere last year it was like consolidating from like three to four dollars and when it broke out it went like from four all the way to about seven dollars in like just a few weeks all right same thing here right it was actually consolidating let me just go ahead to pull out um i mean just to show you a bit clearer so you can see right here that is where it was actually consolidating. You can see from about um, $5.50 to $7. Same thing, it broke out, went all the way up, and then we had that second uh, consolidation phase, which is what we are seeing right over here, right? So that is uh, the breakout from here. Let me just push this a bit here, right? And here as well. 
so you can see a bit clearer right so this would be the consolidation phase the past few consolidation phase uh, for this um, stock i fast let me just go to draw one more so at least uh, you have a better idea of what it is right so this is like another consolidation right here and there we go so it was like consolidating right from like about 250 to four dollars same thing when we broke that four dollars it went up consolidated broke out went back up and this was where we were pretty much consolidating for like a one month plus from about eight dollars to eight seventy and right now right it seems like we have like broken this eight seventy so it's like a more aggressive move i would say uh if you'd like to take a trade today all right i mean you want to add more positions along the way up as well so we have like kind of take profit on some of them but right now i think that there might be a potential for it to hit higher just like what we have seen over the past few times right i mean like you know you broke out above that four dollars it went up it broke up above that seven dollars it went up all right and right now we are breaking above this like eight seventy uh, resistance level so that could be a new upside uh, targets drawn all the way to like maybe about nine dollars nine dollars would be a bit of a psychological resistance level so we might just see a potential upside all the way to the psychological ten dollars level right ten dollars would be a psychological level i think if you to hit near the ten dollars maybe not even ten dollars maybe like 980 970 990 all right around there that's where we can see some profit taking coming back we might see sellers coming back and that's where i want to also think about taking some profit right for all the positions that i'm still holding or maybe that i'm still adding more right now right so this is i fast right this would be the potential uptake target this is about 8.93 and you know just what happens was just now right just before i, I did this video i kind of like place an order right so you to take a new long position again a new long position for i fast and uh, this is the trade right here um, I fast right at uh, 1,000 shares has got in at uh, 1,000 shares at 8.87, uh, 13th of July 9:59 a.m. and yes, this is for I fast right. So we come like got in a bit more positions. Of course, we have a few other positions, and now we just want to add in more positions to ride the uptrend further. Alright, so most people, you know, when when you know they're riding the uptrend and it moves up, people are probably like afraid to to buy more because like it's more expensive than they think. Like you know, I should have bought more last month or maybe three months ago or last year, right? But the thing is, nobody knows, right? So as long as there's a potential for it to push higher, right now, right at this point in time, right, we want to think about adding our positions, even though we had them previously. Good, all right. We want to think about adding more positions to further ride the upside. Of course, we can take steps to protect our profits as it moves higher. So yes, we have got another um, new position that is locked in another one thousand shares at eight point eight seven right here for IFA. So we are a bit in the money. It's about eight ninety two um, right now. Hopefully, we break that nine dollars over the next few days, and that's where we can see the upside um come like happening. All right. So this is live trade, all right, and uh, I'll walk you through again to see where it goes over the next few days, and hopefully we can make some money on this like additional one thousand shares. Uh, that has just been bought. Hey guys, welcome back. And you know, one day has passed and this is iFast right here. So I'll do a quick recap on, you know, what is the thought process in my mind right now, right? So it's currently trading at about 8.96. And you know, we are seeing quite a huge resistance at this uh, $9. $9 is a huge uh, psychological resistance level and we're seeing quite a bit of sellers there. Let me just show you what I what I see, right? So this is about um, 895, 897. And what happens was just now, I actually kind of like took profit on that 1,000 shares that we have bought yesterday. I just wanted to lock it in first because we are seeing a huge resistance at $9. So, you know, because we're holding quite a bit, it's okay to just take some profit, all right? Maybe if you were to like retrace back down to like the 870 to 880 range, I might want to get in again, right? But now it's okay to take some profit as we approach this nine dollars right so this is the price right here and you know just just now uh we account like took profit on i fast uh, we sold like 1000 shares at 898 so i think we got in at about 870 78 or something all right so we can't like make a bit of money all right that, that's fine all right doesn't matter but the thing is that uh, right now we want to be prepared to kind of write uh, the upside further all right if it does you know break that nine dollars so let me just show you uh, what are we seeing uh right now on the i fast right right here so this is IFAS, as I say right here, 896. And look at the market depth. I'm going to show you the market depth. And you can see that we are seeing huge amount of sellers. Look at this, right? $9 here. So this is like, you know, 897. We sold ours at 898 just now, which is fine. All right. So 899, there's like 10,000 shares and $9. Look at the $9 mark, right? There's like 252,000 shares queuing to sell at $9. So that's a huge resistance is huge resistance so as i say you know i want to take, take some profit off it so i think it might take a while to clear the nine dollars but if it does clear the nine dollars that's where look at this right after nine dollars look at 901 all right there isn't even 902 903 904 there's like only a 2000 5000 5000 shares so there are very very little sellers just after nine dollars so if we were to break that nine thousand no i mean sorry that nine dollars level 
all right and i know buyers just comes in and just pull out or i mean i'll just just eat up the entire sellers or the sellers to pull out then i would say that there's a very very high chance for this stock to push much higher fast right fast right after nine dollars because it's like pretty much like a high weight it's like a, like an expressway right now it's like a red like at the nine dollars so a lot of sellers are just stacked there so you know it's okay to take some profit at 897 98 or 99 like we have done doesn't matter all right just lock it in some of us maybe you to retrace back down we can get in again but most importantly is what happens if it does break that nine dollars so i'll show you guys what is my thought process so you know we kind of like sold off the 1000 of course we're still holding some for the longer term but for the short term we sold off the 1000 shares that we have bought so what happens is right now i want to make sure i don't miss uh the move right if it does break the nine dollars what happens is i kind of like set like a buy a buy stop limit order right so this is like a buy stop limit order that means if it were to kind of break that nine dollars level i want to lock it in fast on get in and right and catch the momentum to kind of ride the upside all the way to about the ten dollars level so let me just show you the upside targets again i mean so right now you can see this is some um, ifas right um we are, we are still kept at the nine dollars high of today is at nine dollars the low of today is about 885 so you can see we, you know we can actually push down and up push on up so we might go down to um like 880 to 870 and that's where i might want to get in again right um you know to, to kind of lock it in to catch the rebound back up towards that nine dollars so the range now would say potentially from about 870 to about nine dollars so why 870 as i say 870 was the previous high uh this was a bit of a resistance right here you can see we broke that 870 so this 870 would now become like a new support level all right potentially above it all right 870 to nine dollars is like a 30 cents range so if it does hit to like near 870 to 880 that can be a good uh, thing for me to kind of get in again all right but let's talk about the upside so i mentioned about you know the upside in terms of the nine dollars uh potentially breaking if we do break that nine dollars we can potentially hit all the way to like you know 950 to maybe even the ten dollars fast because we want to take steps to protect our profits as it heads towards the 950 or maybe even the ten dollars right so let me just show you what i did so what i did was to you know, kind of like set a buy stop limit order which means to buy only when we were to break the night order. of course we can actually set an alert right to like maybe at 902 or 903 if it does break it and then you hit the 903 you get an alert and then you can go into place an order to buy right so that, that is a bit of a uh, i mean that's the normal way to do it but in this way because i think that it might be quite fast right so i'm gonna set like a stop limit order that means to buy only all right if it were to break the nine dollars mark all right the nine dollars which is a huge resistance only buy if we were to break the level so how we do it is very simple we can set like a buy all right, so it's 896 right now 895 898 which is like below nine dollars obviously right so we can set like a buy uh, stop limit order so it's like a buy stop limit order and trigger price we can put like maybe 9.02 all right uh, limit price we can put it as 9.02 as well all right so this is how we do it all right and you can set like one thousand shares Okay, so like 1,000 shares buy um, stock limit order, 902, 902. So what happens is for a trigger price, that means once it were to touch 902, that's a trigger. So trigger means trigger, right? That means once it touch 902, you know, what do you want me to do? All right, you want me to buy at what price, right? So that's where you touch 902 and order will be placed to buy at 902, all right, which is the limit price. Right? If you want to buy at 905, that is fine as well. So normally I just want to, because in this case, it's, you know, I, I want to make sure I catch it so I can just put a 905. That means once it touch 902, it'll be triggered and then I'll place an order to buy at 905, right? So uh, pretty much I just want to hit the market. I just want to get it. Whatever sellers there are, I just want to buy direct at whatever sellers. So I'll, I'm going to put a bit higher, but most people will probably put a 902, right? So I'll just place it at 905. I want to make sure that I lock it in, right? So this is like a buy stop limit order for ifas 1000 shares um you know trigger price 902 limit price 905 so let me just go into place order in fact i've placed a few already so i just want to place one more just to show you guys how it works so yes trigger 902 limit 905 so we, it only will be triggered if we were to break the nine dollars that means all the sellers at nine nine dollars were to like pull out or the buyers just came in and just you know eat up or just take up all the sellers that shows that the buyers are pretty much uh, you know uh, um prepared all right to kind of like take it up to the next phase right above the nine dollars all the way to like 950 or maybe the ten dollars right so this is it. let me go ahead to place the order buy um stop limit order 1000 shares all right uh, for this uh i fast let me just go to submit all right so order please and this is it right here all right so we have placed like a few um buy stop limit order you can see 1000 shares about uh no trigger price right here at about uh 902 905 right so this is equal to break 
the um, nine dollars. So I've placed a few, like uh, two thousand shares, one thousand shares, one thousand shares. Here. So the few buy stop limit orders which I placed, I think total about uh, four thousand shares. Just I want to make sure I catch it, all right? But right now for the one thousand shares, as I say, uh, we have bought it yesterday. We have come like this. Doesn't matter. I right? just get out, right? Eight ninety eight. I mean, this since there's a huge resistance, just get out. Uh, eight ninety eight. Make the make the few hundred dollars, all right? And then I'll probably wait for a pullback to near eight seventy to eight eighty, and that's where we can probably try to load up again, all right? But more importantly, I'm very excited to see if we can. Uh, break the nine dollars. If we break the nine dollars, good. That's where all our you know buy stop limit orders will be triggered and hit. All right, and that's where we can potentially ride the upside further to the next phase. All right, and I'll be excited to see how it plays out in the next few days. I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome back and new good news, right? Um, I just came back from an appointment, all right? And uh, the time now is, uh, let's just put the time here. And it's like uh, Wednesday, 14th of July, 3.30 p.m. And you know, I just came back and I saw that, you know, for IFAS, we did manage to break the $9. And remember, I talked to you about the $9. There are a lot of sellers, I think more than 200 over 1,000 shares queuing to sell at $9 then, I think in the morning, right? But you know, after an appointment, I came back and it seems like we have broken, all right, the $9. So as I, as I, and I showed you guys, we have kind of like, please, buy stop limit orders to kind of like get in if the nine dollars were to be broken and we have like broken that level so the current price is about 9.38 right now about 938 all right so um yeah we have already locked in some i mean we already locked in some positions that mentioned let's take a look at the orders that we have placed just now all right so we have like kind of got in again uh 1000 shares at 903 2000 shares about 9.026 another 1000 shares at 902 so i would say about 4000 shares another 4000 shares locked in at about 9.03 right 4,000 shares at 9.03 so yes we are definitely making some money so yes I want to see if I can take some profit for maybe just half of it maybe the 2,000 shares right so let's take a look at the market depth uh, for iFast right here you can see that uh, this is the market there we have quite a few uh, quite a bit of sellers at 940 so maybe I can just sell like 2,000 shares at 9.39 first so I just lock in some profit maybe leave the other 2,000 shares to kind of see if we can hit a bit higher all right so let me just go to place an order sell um, iFast 2,000 shares at about 9.39 all right sell iFast 2,000 shares 9.39 let's go to do it um, yeah, so that's it. We have placed an order right here. All right, and let's take a look at it. Yeah, so this is the order, right? To sell iFast 2,000 shares, 9.39. So we have like 4,000 shares on the queue to sell 2,000 shares. So let's see if that order can be hit. All right, we just take profit for 2,000 shares first and the balance 2,000 shares. Let's see if we can like kind of like push towards uh, the resistance, probably about $10, maybe like near that 970, 980, 990. We might want to take some profit again. Uh, maybe in the next few days if it does head to that level right but let's see if you know we can get our order done at about 939 um that 939 you see if you can get it done today at least we just lock in some profits and then we can take a look at it, at it again okay guys welcome back right so the market has closed for the day right and ifas has closed at nine dollars and thirty cents right here and the time now is like 5 37 pm so yes right the market has closed and let's check if we have like made some money so basically i mentioned in just now right when we were placing an order basically we have like four thousand shares of ifas and i kind of like wanted to take profit on two thousand shares right just to lock in some profit which is you know nothing wrong to take some profit right so go ahead to lock in some profit if you have it or more importantly protect them right so i kind of like place an order to sell right two thousand shares of ifas at nine point three nine right? i think i've kind of shown you how to do it and let's check the order if it was done so i've checked it just now all right okay yeah so this is ifas right kind of close at nine dollars and thirty cents let's take a look at the order again all right, and this was the order right to sell like um 2000 shares at 9.39 so yes it is done right so we have locked in uh the profits for 2000 shares of ifas right so we've locked in the profit of 2000 shares of ifas so we have like 4000 minus 2 so we have like 2000 shares of ifas uh, balance right which is for tomorrow or over the next few days right makes sense so nothing wrong to take some profit for example let's say you know we have we have sold off at 939 and you know today we have closed at um, 9.30, you know, so it, it can be a good thing as well. So you lock in some profits, if you have to dip a bit, all right, you can probably think about getting in again. I would say, right now, I would say that if it holds above this like $9 level, so this is like the resistance at 8.70. All right, let me just go, go ahead to change this to um, green in color. All right, so this was the consolidation phase. We have kind of like broken out above the 870 and today, of course, we went above that $9 as well. So that would be the new support, I would say, from like $9 upwards or maybe 870 to $9. That's where we can potentially see a bit more upside all the way to maybe that 950 to the $10 level. So that would be the new upside. So I think tomorrow or over the next few days, if we do see like a move to maybe the 970, 980, 990, that's where I can take profit on the 
balance 2,000 shares, right? I might sell like 1,000 at 970 and 1,000 at 980, 990. It depends on how it plays out and how fast it comes, like hit so hit those level as well, right? So this is um yeah, so this is um pretty much the order that was done, all right? Uh yeah, so we have like balance of uh, IFAS 2,000 shares for today, right? So we have come make like I think about a few hundred dollars, right? Thank God uh, we are lucky, right? So sometimes we are not that lucky, but this time we are lucky, all right? But doesn't matter, right? We just see how it plays out tomorrow and see if we can probably make a bit more money or we can like take steps to protect the money that we are already making right okay guys welcome back and you know two days have passed right and this is ifast again right here currently trading at about nine dollars and 27 cents so you know when i talk about it about two days back i mentioned that you know, we have like two thousand shares balance right so we have like a balance of two thousand shares we have to take a profit on uh the two thousand shares already and now we have like a two thousand shares left right so what do we want to do with this like two thousand shares all right okay so this is my thought process right now so it's currently trading at about 927 and you can see that um this is where we are over the past few days you can see we kind of like went to about about 965 955 so somewhere around that 950 right to around that 960 level we are seeing some profit taking some sellers coming back to push prices back down but doesn't mean down means like going, going all the way down right it just means that you know people want to take some profit i mean it's just fine because those who have got in at you know like like eight dollars eight twenty eight sixty you know they want to take some profit they're making like a few thousand dollars they want to take some profit which is perfectly fine right so it's nothing wrong to take some profit okay so we are seeing selling right based on the candles here all right whereby we have like a higher uh, kind of like an upper shadow right some quite a week it's like an upper shadow it just shows that sellers are back at the day end or probably in the afternoon to push prices lower right that's that's like a sign of selling right of profit taking all right so we can also think about um taking some profit i mean if i'm going for the short term as i say we are holding some for the longer term but right now this is more like a short term trip so i can also think about taking some profit like i had right for that balance for that 2000 shares right just about two days back and you know i can also do it uh for the balance 2000 shares so maybe i'll just maybe i'll just want to take like 1000 shares out again right just take profit from another 1000 shares and i can probably take some profit for that 1000 shares maybe somewhere around that 950 to 940 range right over here i think that is where let me just go to draw these uh, upside targets i think that is where we can potentially hit to i think this is the range right now from like nine dollars to maybe 950 960 but i would not be too greedy right i mean probably somewhere around that 945 uh, yeah, 945, I can also think about taking some profit. And maybe if it does dip to the $9, right, that is where I can think about getting in again, right? Rather than just, you know, holding it um, down and then it's back to square one, right? So I can think about taking some profit, maybe about the 945 right here, all right? Uh, and this is what I'll do. I'll probably place an order to kind of like sell um, just 1,000 shares at 945. See if it can be done, all right? And then we have like a balance 1,000 shares to see if that can kind of like break, all right? If you can break that 950, uh, kind of close above this 950 to 960 level, that is where we can see potentially more upside towards the $10. And hopefully we can take profit there, all right, for the balance 1000 shares right so this is the top process right now so what happens is i also want to think about you know protecting our profits for the total all right of 4000 shares that were bought right so how do i protect my profits so that you know no matter what i wouldn't lose money right that, that is key right so what happens is you know over the past um three days we are probably seeing some support at about the nine dollars level so nine dollars would be like a psychological support level it was like the resistance remember we had like a lot of sellers there we kind of broke that level so now this level right would turn from a resistance to like a support level right so if it does break down all right below the nine dollars it goes to like 890 or 895 that is where we might see a bit of weakness coming. Of course, it might touch and rebound back up, but nobody knows, right? So we want to take steps as well, right, to protect our profits for the overall, right? so, I mean, for the whole entire 4,000 shares, so that if it does go back down below $9, right, we don't want to, you know, let it go all the way back down to like eight seventy or maybe $8, and then, you know, from again, uh, it becomes a loss, right? No, all right, overall, we still make money, all right? You know, if it does break that $9 support, we want to think about getting out, and so we can also think about, like, setting, like, a stop loss, uh, kind of like placing like a sell stop limit order all right just like how i bought when it come broke you know that that, that nine dollars right so same thing i can set like a sell stop limit order right to sell potentially if it does break below the nine dollars well you know we can set like a sell stop limit order. let me just show you what to do right now so we can just go ahead to maybe take some profit as i say now it's 9.29 it went up a bit so let's me go ahead to place an order first maybe to sell right take profit to sell uh one thousand shares 
at about 945. So I mentioned that's the resistance, 950 to 960. I'll not be too greedy. You know, sell 1,000 shares. Hopefully it gets done and we have like a balance of 1,000 shares, right? So just sell 1,000 shares of iFast at 945. Uh, let me just put the good today. All right, so let's just hope it will be done. Yeah, I think that, that would do, right? So to sell 1,000 shares at 9.45 for IFAS, right? So, yeah, this is an order has been placed, all right? And let me go ahead to place what we call a sell stop limit order. So we just click on this, all right? And sell stop limit order. That means to sell if a certain level below is to be broken, all right? For example, the $9 level. So this is the trigger price, um, 9.28. 9 of course, it's not 9.28. It's probably about 8.9. I'll just put 8.98 um, right over here. That means if we were to break below the 9 dollars level once it touched like 8.98 uh, it will be triggered all right to sell the balance of uh, 2,000 shares right so we have like a balance of 2,000 shares we're going to protect it all right and this is what we do so to sell um, you know 2,000 shares um, stop limit order 8.98 8.98 and this is what we do that means if it were to break the nine dollars touch the 8.98 it will be triggered and we will just sell it at 8.9 maybe we can even just sell lower all right, just we want to just sell direct at the market. Uh, this is what we can do as well, right? To make sure that we get it done, all right? If the nine dollars would be broken, because there might be very few buyers, so we just want to get off and just sell direct to the market, all right? So this is how we can do it. So like a sell, um, stop limit order, all right? Two thousand shares, trigger eight point nine eight. Um, once it's triggered, we will sell at eight point nine five, right? So this is how we place like a sell stop limit order. So let's take a look at the orders again, right here. So one is to like take profit one thousand shares. Uh, to take profit hopefully we get it done all right and the other one is to make sure we kind of like protect our profits for the entire four thousand shares so in case it were to come back down all right um yeah we want to just get out and sell it off at 8.95 all right so this is how we kind of like do it all right in terms of the top process so let's see uh, how it plays out over the next few days maybe tomorrow or next week uh, we'll see how it plays out if we can you know hopefully take some profit on that 1000 shares hey guys welcome back right so more than a week has passed for ifas and you know, we were actually holding above this nine dollars uh new psychological support level you know we like trading from nine dollars to about 950 and we did have like a price to sell hopefully it goes up to maybe about 940 something 930 something and we could get out and make more money right but um you know over the past few days we were holding above the nine dollars but what happens was today we kind of broke down the nine dollars level so remember we had like a stock limit order a stop loss level that was set just in case it were to break the nine dollars right so yes it did break the nine dollars level and we had like a stop limit order to like sell at 8.95 in case it were to break we just get out and look at this right here so we have kind of like a stop limit order that was triggered i'll show you in a bit but you know you can see that it kind of broke the nine dollars went all the way down and it's currently about eight dollars and sixty cents right it's about 860 so it might probably dip a bit to maybe about 850 or something before we see a bit of stability before timing our entry again but the thing now is that you know if we didn't have like a stop loss order right we will probably be like in a loss right we'll probably be losing some money all right but now we actually had a stop limit order let me just show you what would be the order um, so this is iFast right here. You can see it's currently about 8.62, 860, 862, right, which is like way below the $9. So let's take a look at the order that was placed um, right here. All right, so of course we had like a limit order that was placed to sell maybe about 945 and 928. You know, if you to like kind of hit to those um, near the resistance level, we want to get out. And of course we would hope that it would hit there and we get out and make more money. But the thing is that it, it didn't, all right? So it doesn't matter, all right? So we still want to take steps to protect our profits because we have already, you know, made some money on that um, 2,000 shares, all right? We still make money overall, all right? But if we didn't have this stop limit order, so this was the stop limit order that was placed um, you know about more than a week back all right and yeah we still continue to place it and this is like a sell stop limit order 2000 shares 8.95 that means once we become like set the trigger at 898 to sell at 895 that means once you to break and touch 898 we will trigger and it will just sell off 895 so it was triggered just now and you can see that the order is done to sell 2000 shares at 8.95 done all right and today is the 26th of july i think previously was like more than a week back and, and we got the uh we replaced the stop limit order right so yeah pretty much this is where we are right now and you know if we didn't come like stop loss you can see that we are probably losing money all right from the overall i mean the big picture if you know looking at the whole entire four thousand shares that was bought all right we are probably losing money now but because we have set a stop limit order to kind of protect our profits overall that's where we still, you know, we still make money, right? We still make money, of course, lesser than what we have hoped for, but we still make money. Then doesn't matter, right? So we can probably look at this stock again to see if it dips maybe to another level and probably a new bullish reversal actions coming back again and we can time our entry to kind of get in again. But at least 
we still make money for the entire 4,000 shares. Okay guys, so we have pretty much come to the end of this video, you know, how to trade a breakout like a pro, right? So let me just do a quick recap of what has happened, you know, over the past one to two weeks when we first look at this counter, right? So, you know, for IFAS, so basically the, the $9 was a bit of a resistance, right? And we kind of, uh, when we first bought it, we went up a bit and then we hit it to the $9, we took some profit and then we placed like a, you know, a buy stop limit order when it kind of broke the $9, we want to get in immediately to kind of ride the upside. So we placed what we call a buy stop limit order, I think about 903 or something. We got in with about 4,000 shares, all right, and then we hope that it will come like push higher to maybe like 950 or maybe the $10 and we get out and make something, all right. So it didn't really go to $10. I think it went to like somewhere around 950, all right, 960, and then started to pull back and we got out like 2,000 shares, all right. So that's a breakout trade. So it's a bit more aggressive, I would say, um, if you were to place a, a buy stop limit order to buy automatically when it kind of breaks the resistance. Um, you know, normally I would like to, you know, see it break and then look at the volume and all that before kind of like, you know, putting a manual order to get in. But in this case for iFast, because you know, I think at a point in time when I show you guys the market that at $9, there was just a lot, a lot of sellers. And after $9, it was like a highway, all right? Like it's free, all right? It's like free to go, all right? And so that, that's where, you know, if you do it like manually, you might just miss it. It's just too fast, right? And then what happens, right? You kind of like broke and then pa, 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 it just went to like 9.20, 9.30 in a matter of minutes, right? So that is how you can kind of like trade a breakout like a pro, but you do have to like monitor prices as well, all right? If you do that, like a, a buy stop limit order to buy, automatically if it break that resistance level right so that's what we did right and we're lucky okay so what happens was we took profit on that 2,000 shares, we have 4,000, we took profit on 2,000 shares, we make like about a few hundred dollars, maybe about six, seven hundred dollars, all right? And then after that, we were like consolidating above the $9 um, support level. So we was actually holding for, you know, more than a week above the nine dollars to about nine fifty, nine forty, and it became tighter to about nine thirty. Then sellers have to come back, so you know we kind of like you know set, set a limit order to sell, maybe about nine thirty, nine forty around there. Hopefully to get out for the like balance two thousand shares, but you know it didn't, right? But while we want it to happen, what we did was actually to set like a stop loss level in case the nine dollars would to break down. All right, so we want to make sure that we, as I said, um, you know, all this about, we want to make sure that we still make money overall because we need to take profit at 2,000 shares. If we could take profit on the other balance 2,000 shares at a higher price, that would be best, right? That's where we can make more money. But we want to make sure that if it didn't happen, we still, you know, lock in our profits overall. All right, for the balance 2,000 shares, we still want to stop loss and, you know, just make a small loss, but overall, we still make money. All right, and that is key, right? So we had a like stop limit order, 898, trigger 895 to sell off. And we kind of got out as I've shown you guys, all right? So we still make money for the entire 4,000 shares. And look at the prices right now. I think the price right now for um, iFast is about 858. So it kind of went down by about, you know, six over percent, 858. So imagine if you didn't sell at 895, now it's 859. So do you think we'll be losing money for the entire 4,000 shares? The, the answer is yes, right? We'll probably be losing money because the balance 2,000 shares will definitely be, you know, riding on a huge loss, right? For the balance 2,000 shares, which will kind of like, you know, wipe away all the gains you have made for the 2,000 shares that we have sold earlier. All right, so this is very key to make sure that you have a plan to kind of like get out, all right, if certain levels are breached. Like in this case, the $9 was quite a good support level and we had been holding, all right? And I expected it to hold as well. But as I say, in the stock market, nobody knows, right? Nobody knows. I mean, we just need to have a plan. We just need to follow it, all right? And if it does break, we break and we get out. We still make money. You can see it's like 860. And if I didn't sell, like, you know, if I didn't have a stop loss level, now I'll probably be looking at it and I'll like, uh, why didn't I sell? You know, I should have got out. I should have taken profit at nine plus um, last week and all that. But the thing is, nobody knows because if it goes to like ten dollars today, then I'll be like, wow, you know, I, I, I you know, I would not have sold it, right? But the, the thing is, it kind of broke the nine dollars, right? So we had a plan to get out and we just follow it. It was executed automatically, and we get out and we still make money. All right. So this is pretty much you know the end of this video. You know how to trade a breakout like a pro. All right. So normally we don't do this. As I say, this is a bit more aggressive to kind of buy on a break automatically but in this case we just want to give it a shot for, for ifast and I'm glad that we still were lucky and we're still able to make some money now despite it selling down today all right so i hope you like this video and if you do guys um if you have not yet subscribed to this youtube channel go ahead to smash the subscribe button <laughs> yes go ahead smash the subscribe button i give you about one to two seconds uh yeah do smash the subscribe button so that you will not miss out on any videos like this and that's where we'll share uh, some of those strategies and also once in a while we'll do like some live um, trips like this to kind of explain the thought process uh, behind all right as we take a live trade and uh, you know i mean there's, there's like no emotions as you can see we, as i walk you through the live trades it's all about planning it's about about you know just reacting uh, positively to it and then not you know just just letting your emotions affect you because if you let your emotions affect you and then you can no longer you know perform in a consistent way 
that you know you should perform right based on the strategy that that's where you know things would not be good all right so this is how we do it right so yes if you've not yet subscribed go ahead to smash the subscribe button and of course guys give me a like as well give a like to this channel it will definitely help out the video all right and let me know in the comments below let me know in the comments below what is your biggest takeaway in this very video what, what have you learned in this video i mean in terms of like the strategy in terms of like, maybe like stopping loss in terms of getting out or maybe like even taking profit maybe some of you might think that hey, i should have just got up earlier i should have even maybe um not be greedy and, and uh, took profit for the balance 2000 shares and maybe um, you know, slightly at a slightly lower price. Let me know in the chat. All right, but this is it, right? So we have gone got out and we still make money for this entire trade. So probably I'll look at it again for IFAS and see if it does, you know, find a bit of support. Now it's 863. Maybe find a bit of support at 850 to 860. We can probably time our entry to get in again. And that's where we can right count like the rebound and the uptrend even more. All right, so this is Joey here. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below your biggest takeaway. I look forward to see you in the next video.